look what I have here. Mop Echo, Reunion, can't see enough Pokemon box. Let's get into it. So this is the Crown Zenith Mopeco V Union box. This is the front. And what do we get in the box? We get some promo cards, some other size cards, a play mat, some other stuff, and five Crown Zenith packs. Before I get into this, I want to show you some other stuff. So last video I mentioned Mopeco was my favourite Pokemon. Yes, that is my favourite one. I'm just proving it. Here's my Mopeco Marnie folder. A Mopeco tin. We also have the last playmat from Champion's Path with the Angry Malpeco and Marnie. And in this folder, we have most of the English Marnie and Malpeco cards. That's dedication. But yeah, I love this guy, so we had to get this box. So let's open it. These boxes are really hard to open. I've destroyed it, but it's like to be. And let's have a look at the playmat first. Are you ready to see? Voila. And this is it. Bring it over a bit. Get the full image there. I feel like this is probably a lot better than the other playmat. The only thing I do not like about these playmats is that they don't have like tapered edges. So this just starts like fraying slightly. My other one's fraying a little bit, but it's decent quality. The print's quite cool on this. What do you think of the playmat? I personally love it. So let's have a look what else we get in the box and let's crack it open. So these are the four cards. They're just obviously the four V Union cards. And it also came with this one, which was mentioned on the back, but I didn't realise it was just going to be a promo card. I thought they'd have at least made this like half foil or reverse hollow. But yeah, we got an extra card. This is our jumbo oversized Pokemon card. I quite like this design. I'm not a fan of these massive borders, but I guess it's the V-Union before it's cut up. It's one card on the back, so you can't cut it up and make it in it more. It's decent artwork on this. I feel like I might want to stick this on the wall or something. Now, let's get on to the next thing. Last of all in here is five Crown Zenith packs. So here we are, our five Crown Zenith packs. I have the sleeves, the top loaders, on standby so hopefully we get something good and it makes this box worth it personally for me the top loaders were already worth it i'm not sure what the card trick is on these but have a code card i think is it is this an energy no maybe it's one two three to the front uh, and we get rid of the energy and here we are we have rescue carrier we have sazzle we have this one we have Wooloo, Sphinx, Panda Champ, Snowheart, or Snowro, should I say. We have Pornoran, and we have Fwen, I <coughs> can't speak. We have Friends in Hisu Reverse Hollow, and on the end we have a Ziora V. Uh, that's not a brilliant pull, but you know, it's better than nothing. I opened that Crown Zenith of Marnie tin. I didn't even bother uploading the video because I just didn't pull anything good. But I suppose that's off to an okay start. I still can't get used to the yellow borders on those cards because the Scarlet and Violet's grey. But let's get into this one. So, have a code card. And we do one, two, three to the front. Get rid of the fire energy. And we go into Dusclops, Metatang, Energy Switch, Salandit, Purloin, Grubbin, Scrap. Help the tail, and we have a reverse hollow, and we have another one of these in a V. What is going on? Another one. I didn't want one, I didn't need two. But once again, it's a V, I can't really complain. It's a hit, I guess, technically. Third pack, please don't let me get another one of those. Here's a code card, and we have one, two, three to the front. Tick off the grass energy. And we have a great ball. We have trekking shoes. We have a Luxio. We have a ball toy. We have a Galeri Meow, a Wilma, a Sphinx, a Crotfish, another one of these reverse hollows, and we have gum shoes. Rare. Next pack. It's just not looking good for this box. And have a code card. And we go one, two, three to the front. And we take off the water energy and we have a rare candy, a Dusclops, an energy switch, an Oddish, a Seal, Potion, Aron, Crawfish, 
And we have an NTV and a Duff Wool Rare. Oh my god. Oh, it's a, gal it's a Galarian gallery. Wow. I absolutely love the artwork on this card. Look at that. Wow. That one has to be... Surely has to be worth something, that card. That's a big one. But let's put it in a sleeve. I'm definitely keeping this card. I love these Galarian Gallery, Trainer Gallery, you know, those cards. I talked about in the last video. I absolutely love them. Bang, bang, bang. That is definitely a hit. And we have our final Crown Zenith pack. If we can get a double of this, I'll definitely be happy. But I like something else. And let's get into it. We have a code card. And we're going to do three from the back. What type of energy is it? I'm guessing Psychic. No, it's Earth. Courage Charm. Great Ball. We have Bar Sharp. Sphinx. Panda Charm. Snowrun. We have Pornoad. Tangela. We have a Swab Lou. I was just on about how much I love these cards. And there it is. They heard me. Arceus heard me and give me a Swab Lou. Trainer Gallery. Or Galarian Gallery, should I say. And the final. Oh, it's a hot signature card. I have the BD one. I also have the Marnie one. But now we have the hot one. So these were the big pulls from this set for me. Swab Lou. Galarian Gallery. And of course, NTV. I quite like this hop signature card. And then we have two of these, which are meh. But of course you buy a product like these for the cards, the play, the play mat, which I love. What do you guys think of this product? Have you opened it? Did you get any better pulls than me? And have you ever had this happen before where you get two of the same V card back to back? Let me know guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.